Hello my friends, how's it going? The news about Africa are often about quite negative things such as Ebola or Boko Haram or poverty. Now when I was still in Namibia, I arrived, I, I came back to Helsinki <coughs> yesterday. I spent a Friday with my classmates and I took the opportunity to ask young Namibians how they feel about their lives in Namibia and how they feel about such news. Check it out. I'm talking to Frida right now. So uh, we are going to pick her up at uh, Single Quarter. And from there, we're going to hit the road and we're going to take this finish somewhere very special. Welcome to Africa, boy. Well, what is this place, Frida? This uh, is Tomasi. It's very cheap with alcohol. Single Quarter. Yeah? Is this a place where people come to buy beers after one o'clock? Yeah. yeah. OK. Even on Sundays. Even on Sundays, cool. Will we be drinking tonight? Oh uh, yeah, I'll be drinking obviously, <laughs> but not too much because I'm carrying a lot of lives. <laughs> I'm very responsible. We are in Brakwater window. They call it Palkis. <laughs> the party had started off pretty well until I came and ruined it with my questions. I'll be honest. What do you do on your uh, free time? I like skateboarding. I like listening to hip hop, local hip hop, international hip hop. Tell me some of your favorite artists, like international artists. Um, Lil Wayne, Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, T.I., Chris Brown. I can go on. Pretty much the exactly the same music that. Any other person listens to. What it is, there is them, but these other wars and other things, those are the things, and to some extent also, we find that now Africa will be one of the peaceful continents in the future. But it, is, it will be good if you come to witness this situation on the ground, then you can uh, have a clear picture of what is happening. Can I ask you guys a question? Yes. yes. So uh, often in Western countries, the news uh, regarding Africa, they all uh, often um, relate. Related related to like wars or poverty Ebola. or Ebola and so on. No, so what do you what do you think about news like this? We, we never we never Ebola saw anybody suffering of Ebola in Namibia. As you can see, we are having fun. We are drinking. We are eating. We are driving what we want. We got everything that European have, man. Look at us. We are not living in poverty. Not at all. In Namibia, women can talk Bola, nicely. Yes, I have the they respect to women. To talk and the men will listen like in to other me. countries, like uh, South Sudan, for example, it's just men. The mistake they are doing, they consider you, Africa as one, you, you as, 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 as one whole country. It's, it's, it's actually a sharp contrast what you get to experience in Namibia than what you see in other different countries. Namibia has been identified as a model to democracy in the world, and the UN acknowledges it. I believe we are living in a wonderful country, and all people are having equal opportunities. It's just your ability to access it. Africa is not as scary as you think. Africa is not a jungle. We don't live in huts. We don't drive on. We don't ride on elephants. What? So, I asked my classmates this question, and. Many of them got almost agitated. Uh, seems like it's a bit of a sensitive or hot issue. But yes, clearly this is not what those horror news uh, make it seem like. Of course there are problems, but... No. As, um, all I have to say is that, like my classmate said, Come and see it for yourself. Okay, back to the party now. Okay, this is a nice. Jacob, this is what we call. This is what we do every weekend, most of the weekends. This one is called garlic bread. We also put it on the. We also put it on the on the coals on the roaster. Very this nice. is about to get roasted. How does that nice tipon steak taste? It tastes like the hospitality of Africa. Yes. It tastes like the hospitality of Africa. The hospitality of Africa. Hospitality of Africa. Namibia. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This is the life to live. <laughs> this is Winduk Laka in Winduk, Namibia. But it's Namado. And I just have my, I have met a new friend, Yako from Finland. He was the old man in school. <laughs> playing catch up. Show me how you catch up. He's also playing catch up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a proud African. Yes. A very proud. African who have met an European who have so much in common with me. When I was small, I used to think that white is different, you know, from everything that they have invented. I used to think that all those, things, all those people were super genius people that you couldn't come close with, you know. Now that I have come close to them, talked, I have seen that we are all humans, we are all just different colors, different climate, different you know, worlds, but we are all humans and I love it. Namibia is the coolest place in the world. <laughs> spread the word, spread the word, please. <laughs> I am having a lot of fun with my classmates here. And it's a bunch of people who have welcomed me so warmly. And I feel like a local, I really do. I really do feel like a local who is who has been accepted. And this is what I like about Africa and Namibia. Uh, people here are very, very friendly and welcoming. And it's not different from Finland. Uh, people here go out to hang out, have some barbecue, whatever, and beers. Well, I have nothing to say. I just love this place. I just love this place. Yes. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't worry. Don't worry, my brother. It's serious. It's nothing, man. This is common. Yeah, but it might be dangerous as well, no? Hola, lähestyt. Grille juhlista ja kaikki kuskittaa aika juhrissa. Ja se on jotain, mitä Suomessa ei tapahdu usein. Ja ilmeisesti tässä kulttuurissa on kuitenkin aika normaalia. Joten nyt auto lähtee liikkeelle. Kuski on juonut pari olutta. Nyt lähettiin liikkeelle. Toivottavasti Päästään windhookki elos. <laughs> Alright, that's it for now. I hope you found my video interesting. Stay tuned for more. There is still some material from Africa that I have to edit and upload. But after that I'm gonna uh, focus on Helsinki related videos. By the way, I shot one of my earlier videos here uh, at this same location. And now that the summer is arriving, isn't it beautiful? See you next time.